Chapter 21. News of Another Witch. Dorothy sat down and sobbed. Now what was she going to do? The lion, the tin woodman, the scarecrow tried to comfort her. But all she could do was go back to her room. The next morning, the friends gathered in the throne room. The scarecrow was in charge now, so he sat on the gigantic throne. Don't worry, Dorothy. We'll get you home somehow, he told her. Let's think. They all thought, but the scarecrow must have been thinking the hardest. Pins and knees were already sticking out of his head. Suddenly, he jumped up and shouted, I have it! Why don't you use the golden cap again? And ask the winged monkeys <coughs> to t Max, seriously? Okay, go! Suddenly he jumped up and shouted, I have it! Why don't you use the golden cap again and ask the winged monkeys to take you home? That's a wonderful idea, Dorothy exclaimed, smiling. Why didn't I think of that before? She ran to her room to get the golden cap, then hurried back to the throne room. When she returned, she popped it on her head and followed the instructions. In an instant, the winged monkeys appeared, and their leader flew and landed over and landed in front of Dorothy. Haley told her, bowing, what is your second command? To go home, she told him. Please carry me over the desert to Kansas. The leader of the winged monkeys shook his head. I'm sorry, he said. Well, we can't do that. We can do many things in our own country, but we cannot leave here. We couldn't make it over the desert. He said goodbye and flew away, with his followers flapping and chattering behind him. Now what? sniffed Dorothy, fighting to hold back tears. I just wasted the golden cap's powers by making a wish that the winged monkeys could not grant me. The scarecrow had been thinking again, and was ready for her question. Let's ask the soldier with the green whiskers, he said. Maybe he knows what you can do. He called out to the soldier's name, and the man stepped timidly into the room. Come in, please, said the scarecrow. We have a question for you. So the soldier came closer, looking around with great curiosity. Austin never allowed him to enter the throne room. Have you any idea how this girl and her dog can cross the desert and get back to Kansas? The scarecrow asked him. No, I don't, was his answer. No one ever crossed the desert before, except the Great Oz. Dorothy's hopes were dashed again. Is there no one else who could help me? Well, said the soldier, feeling sorry for the girl. You could go to Glinda, the Witch of the South. She is the most powerful of all witches. She rules over the Quadlings, the people of the lands of the South. And she lives in a castle right on the edge of the desert. Perhaps she can help you. Is Glinda a good witch? Dorothy wanted to know. Oh, yes, very good, said the soldier. The Quadlings say that she is kind to everyone. Just follow the road straight to the south, and you will reach her castle. You can't miss it, but take care. You must go through thick woods, and you will see wild beasts and all sorts of dangerous things. That is why quadlings hardly ever visit our city, or we theirs. Dangerous or not, Dorothy decides she had to go see Glinda, the good witch of the south. Dangerous or not, her friends decide to go with her.